Let's have a look at what the advanced heading does from Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. Jump right on over into Elementor and let's go and create something a little snazzy. I'll add a section here with two columns and then let's style the section a little bit first. Uh, over here, height, let's make it minimum height. That is okay. Let's make it a little bit more, give it a little bit more height and then let's give it a background over here, here going to choose this one something to do with thanksgiving and fall and autumn for you guys in the norm then hemisphere next we bring in that advanced heading so we go up here to our elements and we type in advanced heading and you will see it has the little icon up here for ultimate add-ons for elementor going to drag it in here and then we start styling over here thanks for all the giving and then we have a description and I'm just going to type in this here. We are grateful for all that we have. Let's give back. And we can see nothing there. And then you can also activate it with a link. Even has a lot of dynamic content that you can be drawing it from if you so please. The separator I'm going to add because this one is pretty nice. You can have either a line or you can do it as a line with an icon. You can choose your icon over here. Then you can have line with an image and then you can also have line with text. So if you want to add some text over there, I'm hopping back to line with image because it's Thanksgiving. I want to bring in something here with Thanksgiving and I always promote these guys because I think it's a great job that they have and they've got a very good deal. If you are interested in them, follow the link below and just remember you can use their icons for free if it is for non-commercial purposes. But the moment you put a website online, it's not non-commercial anymore. And then you can go check out. They charge something ridiculously cheap for over a million icons per year, 40 US dollars per year. It's a steal of a deal. So I'm going to type in your Thanksgiving and then I will get, oh, wow, look at all these. And you get collections up to 100 icons. Really, people, this the world is a playground here at the Noun Project. So I'm choosing this little turkey over here. And then for the PNG, you can download the SVG, but I'm going to go with PNG here. You can set your settings. And because it's an icon size, I'm happy with 100 pixels for that. So I will download it and then bring it in. I've already brought that image in. So all I need to do now here back in WordPress on my image is click on it and then click on the turkey and bring in that turkey. And now we have the turkey. Helpful information if you want to know more about how to work with the advanced heading. You can click here or you can continue watching this video. Let's go and style it because that's where the power comes in. You can center align it. Well, if you have one column, the center alignment will work or you can flush it to the right. Let's keep it on the left. Let's play with the heading. And one thing I really like about the heading is that you can give it a background. For example, I can choose an image for the heading background. Let's choose another colorful one over here. And now I can go here and put it on cover and let's just put it somewhere in the middle. Mm, what is our position? Center, center, right? Uh, that looks weird, but if you've got a nice contrasting image that you can use for it, you can do that. So let's go back to color and we stick to color for this one. And then our color will be white. And there's the normal styling topography. Um, let's choose something like hind. And then you can have your weight. You can play around with all these things, uppercase. And of course, there is the normal stuff that you can be doing with that. Text shadow, you can add color, all of those things. That is for your heading. Your description is the same. We'll probably put that in white as well so we can read it better. And then for the separator line, you have a lot of options. You can make it dashed. Let's leave it at dash. Let's also give it a white color. Or should we do this little cream color? Hmm, I like the cream. And you can increase the thickness. Looks very weird. And you can increase the width all the way to 100%. And then it will cover the whole part. Or you can reduce it again. And then you have also for the image there, image size, you can increase, you can decrease it. I want to keep it icon. You can change the position. Also very nice, play around with that. And then your style is simple and design your own. What is that? Let's see your background size for your oh, background. Okay, 
don't want that. Let's say simple. We want to keep it at simple. And then hover animation, you can also have that as well when you hover over it. Let's see, bounce. There, bounce on the icon. That is interesting. Another thing about the line, let's jump back to content. If you go to separator, you can also decide where it should be. At this moment, it's between the heading and the description, but you can put it on top or you can put it at the bottom. And this is, again, another feature widget that works the way it should work. It's very simple and basic, but it's one of those things we need headings all the time, especially in hero images. And this is a very standard heading description with an icon or a separator. So if you want all of those things combined into one widget, this is the ideal widget for it, the advanced heading for ultimate add-ons for Elementor.